like to thank everybody for uh, coming tonight. It was uh, a year ago, September, that uh, all of us were here with some shovels in our hands, uh, breaking ground for this very facility. So we've come a long way in, uh, in less than a year. And again, I want to thank everybody. And while I have the opportunity, I'd like to thank Napa Glen for the catering tonight. We really appreciate that and appreciate your hospitality. So at this point, I'd like to direct everyone's attention to the west, toward the sun, uh, where we'll have a, uh, a flag raising by our honor guard. Thank you to our Honor Guard for raising the flag at, uh, at our new station. Uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, recognize City Council, uh, City Manager Kishnick, and I'd like to introduce uh, Mayor Slater. Thank you, Chief. Uh, what an honor and a privilege it is for me to be here this afternoon to dedicate this great new fire station to the city of Troy and to represent the Troy City Council that is with me here today. And I'd like to introduce uh, each member if I could. Councilman Ethan Baker is here with us today. Councilwoman Edna Abraham. Councilman Dave Henderson. Councilman Ed Pennington. Of course, City Manager Brian Kishnick. And from the city, I know Cindy Stewart's here. And am I missing anyone? Kelly Molinar is here uh, taking pictures for Facebook. <laughs> this is such a great event for the city of Troy and it means so much to our community as a whole. But one thing I've always thought of for a fire station is what they mean to the community that they serve, in the area that they serve. And number four has probably got the oldest additions the oldest neighborhoods and have served the community well for so many years it's just so deserving for them to have a new house for their fire trucks and for their personnel they are such a great neighbor i always look at the fire hall as a neighbor of the community someone that you can trust someone that you can reach out to in need and right across the street we have wonderful saint george church that's a neighbor and has been so caring for this community and especially for the fire hall today. And thank you, George, for supplying the dinner, being a good neighbor. Uh, special thank you to Claire Kao for being part of our community. And I also want to say thank you to the chef, Amai. So it's always important to say, say thank you to the but the most important people that are really here today are our volunteers that are here today, that work hard for our city, keep us safe. Words cannot express how thankful we are to the volunteers and what you do for our community and to keep us safe. I know we also have some retirees here today. Chief, 
It's always nice to see you, and thank you for what you've done to set the foundation for the fire department here in Troy. Thank you. And the other retirees that are here today. It's such a great event. So on behalf of the Troy City Council, I would like to present a proclamation to celebrate the new construction of Fire Station Number 4 on August the 22nd, 2017. Chief Roberts, I'd like to present this to you on behalf of the Troy City Council, the whole city. And if I could, this is such a wonderful story, I want to read a little bit into the record here tonight if I could. Whereas Fire Station 4 was originally constructed beginning in 1968 and opened in 1970. The station was remodeled in 1988 to include an additional apparatus bay and a small addition to the day room. And as I was discussing with a couple of people today, we could fit that, I think, into the new bay here uh, at the station here. Since this time, the station has taken on newer and larger apparatus, more volunteer firefighters, and the original building has experienced foundation settling, which we all experienced when we took the tour, which has led to water leaks and, of course, structural deteri deterioration. All of these factors impacted the decision to build this new station. And whereas the Troy City Council members and staff toured the fire station number four and witnessed all firsthand the many shortcomings with the original facility, we decided to budget in 2014-15 the replacement of fire station number four. And of course, we identified it with one of our city of Troy strategies. So whereas the current site needed to be expanded to accommodate the new fire station and the property immediately east of fire station number four was purchased. Staff members from fire engineering building operations, the planning department formed a construction team and worked with the architect and construction manager to design and build a new station, of course, within budget. Our proclamation also talks about all the new features that you can experience if you take the tour here after our groundbreaking or ribbon cutting today. So whereas the old station was demolished in August to make room for site improvements that include a new parking lot and landscape for the new fire station number four, the entire project is scheduled to be completed October 1st, 2017 in time for the annual Troy Fire Department open house, of course, on Sunday, October 8th, 2017. So now, therefore, be it resolved. Thank you. The Mayor and City Council of the City of Troy hereby dedicate the new fire station number four at 2117 East Maple Road and thank our dedicated volunteers and staff with this new world-class facility and equipment designed to provide safety and security for our community. So now be it further resolved that we invite all Troy residents to celebrate with our Troy volunteer firefighters at the October 8th, 2017 Fire Open House. Presented this 22nd day of August, 2017, of course, it's signed by myself, all members of City Council. Chief, congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. Now, before we step over to cut the ribbon, I'd like to introduce uh, City Manager Brian Kishnick. He'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, Chief Roberts and everybody for coming. Since the proclamation went through the entire history of this project, which is what I was going to do, I'll, I'll switch gears here and, and just say a few things. There's so many people who were involved in this project from the beginning. And I remember it was one of my first days on the job and Chief Nelson came in and said, you know, we're going to have to budget for a new uh, ladder truck. And he told me how much it was, and that wasn't a big deal. They're big numbers, but not big. So we said, okay. And then he said, but there's also this fire station four, and it's going to be about four and a half million dollars that we need. So 
I said, thanks, Chief Nelson. I have no idea how we're going to do it, but we'll make it work. And Chief Nelson would be so proud because he fought for, for so many of these uh, projects. And this was so sorely needed when we toured here. It was part of our retreat. And we toured here, and everybody could see the building was such a disarray. And it, it wasn't a, a good representation for people at Fire Station 4. And all, most of our other fire stations are in great shape. So this project, the city council appropriated, I don't even think there was one, one ounce of discussion about appropriating the money uh, for this project. Now somebody who's not here that was intimately involved, at least I don't see him, is Steve Pallotta. Steve Pallotta, this, this was something he did not want to leave uh, the city of Troy employment until this project was done. And it, I'm sure everyone around here knows Steve Pallotta. This was his baby and, and he wanted to make sure it was right. The other person that needs to be recognized, uh, who, when we were doing interviews for the architects, the owner of the company, Redstone Architects, was there, you know, doing his little dog and pony show, and he had he had built other or designed other fire stations in Troy. So that's pretty good. But you know, the owner comes; he, you're never going to see him again. And so I asked him. I said, "If we ever going to see you again?" Of course, he said, "I'll be there all the time." So he's just getting the he wants the job, right? And so, six months into the, the project, Mr. Redstone is still on the job. He's still here today. He kept his word, and these guys have done a great job. And we're so fortunate to have Redstone Architects, Chief Nelson, and Chief Roberts for this great project. So thank you, volunteers. You are a big deal to us. This project's a big deal, and it went off incredibly smooth, smoother than any other project that I've been involved in and in the city of Troy. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, uh, city council. I, I really do appreciate it. You know, I tell people, they ask, so how do you like being chief? And I say, well, I'm still getting used to it, but it's situations like this uh, that really make this job uh, pleasurable. And, and I appreciate, as always, the support of uh, the city manager and city council. But I would like to take uh, this time to uh, introduce and ask uh, Station Assistant Chief Tony Pabian to come forward, because I think it's only uh, suitable that I forward this uh, 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 proclamation to uh, the Station Assistant Chief, because here's where it's going to hang. So, Tony? On behalf of the firefighters of Station 4, I would uh, like to thank City Management, uh, City Council for all their support with the project. Uh, we had a lot of uh, input in this building, which we really uh, appreciate, and uh, it turned out a lot better than we thought it ever would. So thank you all very much. Okay, let's cut the ribbon. bittersweet um, and I know it's I know it's very emotional for for the Nelsons but it is very uh, fitful that that we dedicate this fire station to former Chief Nelson and uh, I think we have a very fitting plaque um, and also the uh, the flag that was flying in front of the station uh, the day that Bill passed away so we have a nice memorial to Bill for the future of this fire station so Not 